What's up everybody, it's Paul from Boosted Films and in this video we're going to change the cabin air filter on this 2022 Ford Bronco Badlands. So what's nice about doing this job is you really shouldn't need any special tools at all. And of course we're going to open up our passenger side door. This is also the typical behind the glove box type of cabin air filter, but this one's pretty easy to do. So that's good. Uh, so we're going to put our seat back, give us a little extra room. We're going to open up our glove box. If you have anything inside your glove box, just take it out and get it out of the way. And then another common thing with these glove box removals is a soft open arm. Uh, this one has it on the right side here. Uh, so all you really need to do is pop that free. You kind of get need to get your finger behind it and slide it up. And if you look inside the glove box like here, you can see where it needs to go. So it needs to get popped up to that larger opening so it can be pulled out. And like I said, it requires a little extra force. You can hear it pop up. But once you pull it up, you should be able to pull it out a bit as well and then slide it out of the way. Next is the typical squeeze the inner parts of the glove box. But what's nice about this setup is actually, I hope more uh, companies start doing this, but there's these little fins basically or whatever, these cuts where you can just push and then uh, you push it in and then it drops down. So it's kind of a very nice setup. So we can just drop down our glove box. Uh, it might pull off the hinges if you want it to all the way, but we're just going to leave it sit here. And kind of behind where we dropped the glove box, now you can see this cover uh, that covers where our cabin air filter is. And on the right side of it here, you can see where you're going to have to squeeze uh, this and you're going to have to squeeze it and pull it out towards you. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I get my fingers and my hands in there to squeeze it and then pull it. And then as you pull it out, you can see on the left side of the screen there where it kind of hinges in, you got to slide it out of that part where it um, pushes into that slot. And you can see that the airflow arrow on this is pointed down, which is good that we're going to pay attention to that as well when we put it back in. But uh, you should be able to just grab the old cabin air filter and then slide it out. If there is a lot of large debris, if it, if it hasn't been changed in a long time, try to make sure all the large debris stays on top of the filter. You don't want anything to fall into your blower motor. Uh, of course, this is pretty new. It's not that dirty, so uh, it's a good good thing. Uh, we could just slide this one out. And now I always like to compare the new with the old. So we have this new fancy cabin air filter here. This is a, a bit different uh, designed one. Um, and it doesn't actually say airflow direction, which is a little disappointing. It would be nice if it just had the airflow direction arrow in it. Uh, but this one specifically just says like an air inlet and an air outlet. So in this case, we want the air outlet towards the bottom and the air inlet is towards the top. But I, uh, also just making sure this is the same general size and shape. Obviously, it's a bit different because it's got this like carbon active stuff in it. But it, it looks right. It looks like it's the same shape and size and everything. So we should be able to go ahead and slide it in. Again, basically, if it had an airflow direction arrow, you'd want it pointed down in this case because the air inlet is coming from the top uh, and the air is coming out of the bottom as the blower motor kind of pulls the air through. So there we go. We slid that one in and now you can see you put the cover back in. We slide that cover in that part where it slides in on the left. I will say just be a little uh, cautious with how far it slides in. If you slide it in really far, it's a little hard to bend. So if there's a lot of force as far as uh, and by bend, I mean like pushing it back on flat. Um, so if it feels like it's very hard to get it back flat snapped in, maybe pull it out a little bit from where you slid it in on that left side. But then again, eventually you'll hear it snap in place once you pushed it in place. So we're almost done. All we need to do now, of course, is put our glove box back up in place. You can squeeze those side pieces again if you'd like. You honestly probably don't have to. The, it, the way those other pieces are beveled that hold it in place, you could just lift up your glove box and those should just kind of push in as you lift up. But before we close our glove box, we want to reattach this uh, soft open arm. So you should be able to slide that in and out, up and down a little bit to line it up where you want it. And then reference, of course, the inside of the glove box here. Uh, so you can see where that hole uh, should be slid in place. So you slide it in more towards the top. And then you just snap it in by pushing it down. And there you go. Make sure it works. You should be able to open and close your glove box just like you did before. And now you have successfully changed your cabin air filter. Uh, put anything back in there that you removed. Check your seat. Put it back where it was. Uh, you should be all set. 
So there you have it. That's how I changed the cabin air filter on this uh, Ford Bronco. Uh, but of course, I'm just a dude on uh, YouTube on the internet that likes to do stuff and document what he does. Uh, so if I did anything wrong or you know a better way to do it, please leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, also, if the same process worked uh, the same for a different model Ford Bronco or maybe a different year, if you want to comment in the comment section below, that might help other people as well, just so that way they could uh, check the comments and know that the same process might work for their particular model year of a Ford Bronco. Also, go ahead and check the video description if you want to buy the exact filter I use so you know that it fits correctly. I should have an Amazon affiliate link if you want to just follow that and buy the exact same filter I used. Otherwise, go ahead, just buy any filter uh, you want. I just recommend changing these uh, frequently enough uh, so they don't get super dirty. And that's about it for this video, everybody. As always, this is Paul from Boosted Films saying thanks so much for watching.